everyone welcome back to pachera talks my name is arun pachera and i'm solutions architect with noventac which is one of the best organization to work with it has also received i'm not just saying it because i work there it has also received a couple of times great place to work and i'm also mct and today we are going to explore azure devops repos Yes, this is in continuation with the Azure DevOps uh, series that we are trying to cover. This is in continuation with Azure DevOps series that we are trying to cover. We have covered uh, Azure boards, pipelines, and this is repos. So let's see what do we have uh, for this uh, video. Well, this is something which is very interesting. We need to discuss all the uh, features and functionalities of repos. Only then we can understand why one should use ADO or Azure DevOps services, specifically repos. There are multiple ways people use this because today is the time where almost everyone trying to at least use the repos, if not the all the fun if not all the functionalities or uh, guidelines of DevOps. So let's start with the features and functionalities of Azure DevOps repos. So very first is version control. Yes. So <clears throat> Azure DevOps repo. I'll, I'll call repo from now onwards because that's what we are going to talk about. So repos is a set of version control tool that we can use to manage our code in Azure DevOps. It offers both Git and Team Foundation version control. Git, which is distributed version control, and TFVC, which is centralized. It offers both, support both. But uh, what I have seen and what you could also search or analyze or explore. Uh, it's the Git repositories, which is most common you'll find. All right, so we'll focus our conversation towards Git, but it's good to know that it also supports TFVC or centralized version control. Now we'll explain version control a little bit for the, for the people who are new with this series. So a version control system or VCS is a tool that helps manage changes to documents, programs, and any other information stored as files. It allow multiple people to work on a single project without conflicting, tracks every modification and enables reverting to previous versions if needed. So now you can understand why People use version control systems, especially when there are multiple developers working on multiple files, because these are some things that it provides us. Let's take an example to make it clear. Let's imagine a team working on a website. One person edits the home page while another updates contact information, let's say, or another page. Version control system helps them to do, to do this simultaneously. Keeps a record of who made which changes and allows reverting to older version if an update causes issues. So that's the beauty. So Azure, what Azure DevOps repos does, it helps us to manage code base and repositories using Git. It supports branching, tagging, and merging that we will cover. <clears throat> I just <laughs> went into the flow. We will cover all those functionalities as you can see here. So <clears throat> let's talk about a Git a little bit. Git is a very popular VCS widely used for tracking changes in the source code during software development. It is designed for coordinating work among programmers or developers, but it can be used to track changes in any set of files. 
it's not necessary that you should be developer and working in a team to utilize git you can utilize git in your local system as well well i do that all the time it helps if you know how to use it only then it helps because i remember when i didn't know it was a pain but once you start using it it's a wonderful tool it's a distributed uh, version control meaning every developer's working copy of the code is also a repository that can contain the full history of all changes well if you've seen the uh, the old videos where we have done some some lab we used to fork or clone the repository and then create our own branch or start doing things you know or without even creating the branch i'm just saying we have done all that so what i'm trying to say copy of the code is also a repository that can contain the full history of all the changes that we copy at our local system we can understand this with this example let's suppose a team is developing an application each member clones the central repository, makes changes in their local copy, and commits these changes. Git keeps track of all these modifications. When ready, they push their changes to the central repository, making it available to others in a nutshell. Though there are multiple things that we can place in between, but to understand this situation, this is a perfect example. So I think we are good with the version control. Azure DevOps repos, what it is, it is a version control, supports Git and TABC. What is Git? We explained just now. Now, pull request and code review. Pull request, we also, you, you might have seen people calling uh, PR, yes. PR is pull request in the case of Azure DevOps, but if you are a sales folk, PR is something else. A PR in Azure DevOps is a method to submit your code changes for review before merging them into the main branch. It is a request to peers for reviewing the code and providing feedback. A PR creates a platform for discussing proposed changes and ensures that only quality code is merged. It supports that, it provides that, along with that, a lot of things, but let's understand code review as well. When a PR is created, team members can review the code changes, comment, suggest improvements, or approve the changes. Code reviews ensures adherence to coding uh, coding standards, catch bugs, and improve the overall quality of the software. Now, let's take an example to put all these in perspective. Let's imagine you are working on a feature in an application. Once the feature is developed, you create a new branch in your Azure DevOps repo and commit your changes. To merge these changes into the main branch, you submit a PR. Yes, you submit the PR pull request so that somebody can pull it and merge it but hold on your teammates receive a notification to review the changes once you create the pr people will get the notification to review it they can then view the uh, diffs comment on a specific lines of code discuss improvements and finally approve or reject the pr once approved the pr can be merged integrating your changes into the main branch. This process of using PR and conducting code reviews is fundamental in modern software development, promoting collaboration, maintaining code quality, and reducing the risk of bugs or issue in the production code, which means saving time. So yes, it provides these two as well. Now, branch policies. Branch policies in Azure DevOps repos are rules. Rules set on branches, particularly in Git repository to enforce certain standards and workflows because we are working in a well-governed environment in an organization, right? So these things are mandatory. Only those tools get selected in an enterprise. These policies ensure that changes in the code base meet the 
required quality and are reviewed before being merged. So policies help. Let me explain how. Consider a development team working on a new feature. They use a branch called branch A for this purpose, of course. To maintain code quality, they might enforce a branch policy that requires. Now, this is the policy which requires, uh, let's say, every pull request to merge changes from feature A into the main branch must be reviewed and approved at least two time to team members. So this is the policy. Until this is met, it won't go ahead, right? You can also add, let's say, changes pushed to the PR trigger an automated build, and the code can be merged only if the build passes. This ensures that the new code does not break the existing functionality. You can also add uh, specifics that each PR must be reviewed by a uh, minimum number of reviewers before merging on the safer side. Uh, you can also ensure that every PR is linked to a work item, providing traceability of changes to the task or features they relate to. So by implementing these policies, the team ensures that all changes are scrutinized, tested, and aligned with the project's goal, thus maintaining the integrity and quality of the code base policies helping you to govern your code applying things which are mandatory and making your software development life cycle smooth now <clears throat> azure devops pro, uh, repos provide seamless integration integration with pipelines enabling automated build process whenever code changes are committed to the repository because you have seen or you have heard many times, once there is a commit, the pipeline starts. How? Because there is a seamless integration. This integration streamlines the CI process, allowing for automated testing and building of code with each commit, ensuring that new changes don't break the existing functionality. Let's suppose you have a web application stored in an Azure DevOps repo. Right, and you set up a build pipeline in Azure Pipelines linked to this repo. And whenever a developer commits a new code or a feature to the repo, the build pipeline is automatically triggered, though you can configure that, of course, but it triggers automatically. The pipeline fetches the latest code and runs predefined tasks such as compiling the code, running unit tests, and generating build artifacts. If you have seen the previous videos of lab, this is that YAML file we write for the pipeline. That's what we are <coughs> talking about here. So if the build succeeds, it indicates that the changes are safe to merge. If it fails, the team is alerted to fix the issue ensuring code integrity and quality. This integration ensures that the code changes are consistently and automatically tested, reducing manual intervention and improving code quality and deployment speed, of course. All right, so what's the next functionality? File management and browsing. Well, I... It, <laughs> it, it seems visible because it provides a wonderful UI. So yes, this Azure DevOps repos provides a cloud hosted private Git repository service, which is a part of the DevOps suite. It offers robust file management and browsing capabilities, allowing teams to effectively manage and navigate their code base. Within repos, users can add, edit, delete, and rename files directly in the web interface. This makes it easy to manage the project's files without needing to clone the repo or use Git client locally all the time. Users can easily navigate through their repository in, in repos, viewing files, folders, and the history. The interface allow 
you to browse different branches, examine comment histories, and explore the changes made over time. Easy, very easy, and very uh, user friendly. Let's consider a team working on a web application. They use Azure repos to manage their source code. A developer can browse to a feature branch directly within the web interface, edit, let's suppose it's Java, Java file to fix a bug, commit the change and push it back to the repository, all without leaving the browser. Other team members can then view the change, its, its history and the files, uh, previous versions easily through the repos interface. Azure DevOps repos streamlines the process of code management and browsing, making it a powerful tool for teams to collaborate and maintain their code effectively. And that's the next point, collaboration and commenting. Repos provides a rich platform for code collaboration and commenting, making it easier for development teams to work together. It's integrated with Git. We have talked about it many times, a version control system, allowing multiple team members to work on the same code base simultaneously. Remember the first example we gave on this. So teams can use branches to work on features, bug fixes, or experiments separately from their main code base. For instance, a developer can create a new branch to add a feature, make changes, commit them, and push the branch to Azure DevOps repos without affecting the main code. When a feature in a branch is ready, the developer creates a PR. This is a request to merge their changes into the main code base. PR, request to merge changes in the main code base. Always remember, developer requesting, right? Don't get confused with PR or pull request. Nobody's pulling, but we are asking, you know, we are creating the request because the admin will pull. That's why it's pull request. For example, after finishing a feature, a developer creates a PI, initiates a review process. Once it is reviewed, approved, and it will pull and merge. During the PI review, team members can comment directly on the code, offering suggestions, asking questions, or requesting changes then and there. For example, a reviewer might comment on a specific line of code, asking for clarification or suggestion or recommendation and improvement, anything. So let's suppose there is a uh, uh, IT employee, uh, let's name her Radha. Radha is working on adding a new login features to an app. She creates a branch, develops the feature, and submits a PR. Now, Krishna, a senior developer, reviews the PR and comments on a few lines of code where improvements are needed. Rather makes the changes, updates the PR, and after final approval from Krishna, the branch is merged into the main code base. Repos streamline the collaboration process, enabling clear communication and efficient team workflow. Its integration with Git and features like PRs and inline commenting enhance code quality and foster a collaborative development environment. Along with that, we have another functionality, work item linking. Yes, Repos offers the capability to link work items to code changes. What are work items? If you're, work, if you're wondering, you can check the first video in, in this series where we explore the boards. So yes, it is coming from the boards. So Repos offers this capability to line uh, to link work items to code changes, fostering better traceability and organization in software development projects. This feature allows team members to uh, connect commits, pull request, branches directly to work items like user stories, bugs, or tasks. To understand this, let's take this example. Suppose a developer is fixing a bug reported in the project tracked as a work item in Azure Boot. 
When they commit their code changes to the Azure repos, they can include the work item ID in the commit message with like hashtag 12345 or like fixed issue resolves hashtag 12345. This links the uh, commit to the work item hashtag 12345. Team members can then easily see the specific changes made to address the bug directly from the work item in the Azure boards. This linking provides a comprehensive view of what changes were made, why and by whom, enhancing collaboration and enabling teams to track the progress of tasks throughout the development lifecycle. And you can create your wiki or for documentation, yes, wiki. It has that functionality where repos offer a wiki feature, providing a convenient space for teams to document their projects directly within DevOps or ADO or Azure DevOps. This wiki is a repository itself where you can write pages in, in Markdown, manage them with Git version control and collaborate with your team. To understand this, let's take this wonderful example. Let's consider a software development team using ADO for their project. They can create a wiki within their ADO repos to document their software architecture, coding standards, meeting notes, project plans, and sprint reviews. Each team members can contribute to the wiki, updating documentation as the project evolves. The wiki tracks these changes allowing team members to see updates in real time, revert to previous versions if needed, of course, and collaborate efficiently. <clears throat> and the next one is tagging and release. Yes, repo offers robust feature of version control, including tagging and releases, which are essential for managing and tracking different versions of software. So what is tagging? Well, tags in ADO are labels you can apply to specific commits in your repo. They're typically used to mark a significant point in repo's history, like a version release. If you, for example, if you release version 1.0 of your application, you can tag the corresponding commit with a v1.0 tag. This allows anyone to quickly find the exact code state representing version 1.0. And release. Releases in ADO represent a specific packaged and deployable iteration of your code, often built from a tagged commit. It's a way of bundling the code and artifacts associated with a, with a particular version of deployment. Let's put both tag and release in this example. After tagging your commit for version 1.0, you create a release for this tag. This release can include compiled binaries, release nodes, and configuration files needed to deploy version 1.0 of your app in different environments. Tagging and release in Azure uh, DevOps repos provide a structured approach to versioning and deploying your software. Tag offers a reference to specific points in your development history while release package these into deployable units, simplifying the deployment and distribution process of your application. Now, what about security and permission in ADO repos? Well, Repos provides robust security and permission feature to manage access control and ensure the security of your code repositories. Here's a, let me give you some, some example to understand it better. But always remember, Azure has the best access control system as compared to any other cloud in the world. That is true. Well, a repo allows setting uh, detailed permissions at various levels, project, repository, branch, etc. You can control who can read, write, create branches or merge changes. That granular, yes, that is true, that granular. It integrates with Azure Active Directory or ID, allowing you to leverage existing user accounts and groups for accessing management. Make it easy. 
implement branch policies to enforce code quality standards like requiring pull request reviews, running automated bills and tests and more. Before code is merged, all that control, all that governance will enhance your security. ADU maintains audit logs for repository activities, providing transparency over changes and access. All right, so what is the next point, which is integration with other DevOps services? Yes. There is a seamless integration with other Azure DevOps services like pipeline, boards, artifacts, test plans. We talked about boards and linking and pipeline automation. Let's take an example of each one of those just to understand uh, this seamless integration with Azure ADO services. When a code is committed at, to a repo, Azure pipelines can automatically trigger a CI CD pipeline. We have talked about it. This pipeline builds the code, run test, and deploy it to various environments. For instance, a developer commits a code change to the repo, which triggers a pipeline that deploy the updated application to a testing environment. Seam seamless integration. We talked about uh, Azure boats linking the work items with a hashtag, j just above that. So let's take an example of artifact. Packages produced by builds in Azure Pipeline can be published to Azure Artifacts. Developers can easily consume these packages in other projects or deploy them. For instance, a build pipeline compiles code and create a new Git package, which is then stored in Azure Artifacts for others to use. You can use that. Then the test. Test cases in Azure test plans can be associated with specific branches or commits and repos. This ensures that testing is always performed against the correct version of the code. And these integrations within uh, ADO create a cohesive environment where code management, build and release work, uh, tracking and testing are closely linked, streamlining the software development lifecycle. And yes, repos provide a suite of APIs that allow for custom integration, enabling automated integration with your repository in ADO. These APIs can be used to enhance workflows, automated process, and integrate with other tools or services. Uh, the APIs offer a range of functionalities, including the ability to work with pull requests, commits, branches, repository file, and more. This allows for programmatic management of code repository. Uh, the APIs facilitate integration with third-party tools and services, enhancing the capabilities of DevOps pipelines. You can also have uh, custom integrations. Uh, Let's take an example to understand it better. Automating pull request creation. Automatically create a pull request when changes are pushed to a specific branch in your ADO repository. How can we achieve that? Well, set up a service hook or a CI CD pipeline trigger that listens for code push events to a specific branch. When changes are detected, use the ADO repo API to create a new pull request. This can be done by sending a POST request to the pull request API endpoint with necessary details like source branch, target branch, title, descriptive, description, reviewers, etc. The API process the request and creates a PR, which can then be viewed, reviewed, and merged by the team. Things can be done. A lot of automation can be done. And finally, marketplace extension. There are so many and wonderful marketplace which helps you uh, pull a lot of extensions. Extend the capabilities of Azure repos with these with the with these extensions uh, available in our marketplace. And with this, I think we have covered a lot of features and functionalities in very detail with lots of examples. I hope it was helpful, but we are not done here. Let's go ahead and uh, take a realistic scenario and put all these features and functions in a, in a story. All right, so let's create a story. So this is the scenario, a web-based project management tool, and our team comprises uh, front-end and back-end developers, a QA engineer, a DevOps engineer, and a project manager, all these people around. 
We're going to implement a new feature, task priori prioritization. <laughs> okay. Allowing users to prioritize tasks in their project. Okay. Now let's go through the end-to-end -end cycle using repos. Planning and tracking <coughs> work. We are not only focusing on repos, but things that could help here. For example, Azure boards. The project manager creates a new user story for the task prioritization feature in Azure boards. The user story is linked to the rel uh, relevant Git repository in Azure repos for traceability. Remember that example, hashtag 12345? That can be relatable here. User story is linked to the relevant Git repository. Now, a new Git repository is set up for the project if not already available. A developer creates a feature branch from the main branch in Azure repos named uh, feature, maybe a feature A, B, or feature task. Then, the developer writes code for the new feature and commits changes to the feature branch. Each commit message includes a reference to the user story ID for the traceability. On each commit, Azure Pipelines automatically triggers a build for the feature branch running unit test and ensure code quality. Once development is complete, the developer creates a PR to merge the feature branch into the main branch. Team members reviews the code changes in the PR, leave comments and suggest improvements. The PR requires at least two approvals from the senior developers and a successful build status before merging. How can we do that? By applying policies, branch policies. The PR is linked to the user story in Azure boards, hashtag 12345. The QA engineers reviews the build in a staging environment, deployed through Azure pipelines, of course, and validates the new feature. After approvals and successful QA testing, the PR is merged into the main branch. Azure pipelines automatically triggers a deployment to the production environment. And then post deployment, Azure Monitor is used to track the application's performance and stability or maybe insights, application insights. And issues or feedback are logged in Azure boards again as bugs or tasks and linked back to the repository for the future improvements, continuous feedback, continuous improvements. And uh, we talked about Wiki, so how can you forget that? The project's wiki in Azure repos is updated with documentation about the new feature and its uses. And the user story in Azure boards is marked as completed, signaling the end of the cycle for this feature. So what is the outcome? Well, the team successfully implements the task prioritization feature in their web application with a streamlined workflow ensuring code quality, efficient collaboration, and automated deployment, all facilitated by Azure DevOps repos and its integration with the other services. This scenario demonstrates how repos along with the other, other DevOps services like Boards, Pipeline, and uh, other services can be used to manage the entire lifecycle of software development efficiently. It highlights the seamless integration of planning, coding, testing, deployment, and monitoring within the Azure DevOps ecosystem. <clears throat> and yes, of course, oh, we're done with the scenario, all right. So just to make a point, we I just added this because we need to understand uh, how how it was happening earlier and how it, it helps fixing the challenges. So traditional software development challenges, because that's why this DevOps is in picture and it is beneficial, giving lots of benefits. That's why it's in use, but it was not always there. So we need to understand how things were happening before Azure DevOps. All right, so let's take an example, which will help us to create this all in a decent story. Uh, Let's suppose there is a mid-sized software company developing a financial management application. So how the development process work if there is no DevOps? 
the team will use or team uses a basic uh, Git repo hosted on server without any integration with any uh, any services like uh, work items for issue tracking or pipeline for automated deployment. There is a version control you could use on your local system. So uh, I hope <laughs> they, they were using. Uh, so because they were using in even in the traditional way. So I'm saying this. So bug tracking and feature requests are managed through a separate tool leading to disconnected workflows in a traditional way and manual deployment process leading to delays and potential for human errors it was happening manually yes limited code review process and no automated testing resulting in bugs and regression and lots of money and time waste poor collaboration between developers testers and project managers due to disconnected tools so what are the what are the, what are the challenges that we faced disconnected tools right switching between version control issue tracking and and deployment tools which dis disrupts the workflow totally and of course dependency increase a lot of dependency on people then manual builds and deployments are time consuming and error prone difficult to track the progress of development and uh, correlate code changes to specific work items without automated testing and a structured code review process the code base suffers from the quality issues right and the lack of centralized platform for collaboration leads to miscommunication and delays all right so uh, how can this be fixed all right these are the azure of services to address these challenges okay these were the challenges as we discussed and these are the the hour we can say these are the question these are the answers these are the challenges and these are the fixes all right let's see how well we got a integrated version control with azure repos migrate to azure repos for for git based version control seamless integration with other azure DevOps services Use pull request in Azure repos for code reviews and discussions, which will improve code quality and collaboration among team members. Set up CI/CD pipelines in Azure pipelines, integrating with repos. Uh, this automated and consistent build and deployment process reducing uh, the, reduces manual efforts, uh, less errors, and less deployment time. Whatever deploys is consistent, less bugs. Use boards for tracking uh, bugs, tasks, and features, linking directly to code in repos, which enhances the traceability and visibility into development process, aligning development work with business objectives. And implement monitoring with Azure Monitor, application insight, and gather user feedback, proactive issue resolution and insights into application performance and user experience is the wonderful output of this implementation of monitoring by adopting uh, azure devops and integrating it with uh, like azure devops repos and integrating it with uh, other azure services like boards pipelines uh, test plans artifacts or better monitor in our example the company overcomes the challenges of disconnected tools manual processes and poor collaboration the team achieves a streamlined and efficient workflow higher code quality faster release cycle and better alignment with business objectives all right so with that let's see what we have in the last slide all right in the last slide we summarized everything that we have learned till now let's summarize it let's not go anywhere come on come back come back all right let's summarize it this will help us to cement the knowledge that we have been through the entire video so the very first thing is through uh, enhanced collaboration and code quality through ad O repos because through pull request and code reviews in Azure repos, a development team working on an e-commerce platform can collaboratively refine their code, ensure high quality and consistency. Developers can comment, suggest changes, and approve modifications seamlessly. 
This process not only improves code quality, but also fosters team collaboration and knowledge sharing. Integrated project management. Now all boards are here. Well, uh, a software team developing a mobile app can link their commits and pull requests in Azure repos directly to work items in Azure boards. This integration provides clear traceability from code changes to specific tasks or bugs, which enhance the visibility into development process, ensuring that code changes align with planned work and business objectives. Automation, automated builds and uh, deployments, well, Let's take an example of an IoT application team sets up CI/CD pipeline in Azure pipelines that are triggered by commits to their Azure repos. These pipelines automatically build, test, and deploy the application to the various environments. This automation streamlines the deployment process, reduces manual errors, and speeds up the delivery of new features and fixes. And we have scalable version control. This ability of scalable version control to manage and scale version control as per the project's growth, supporting both small and large team efficiently. So our repo is scalable. And of course, we talked about security, enhanced security and compliance with controlled access and adherence to coding standards, regular regulatory requirements and policies is, is a great features available. Then yes, continuous monitoring and feedback loops. Well, the ability to monitor application performance in real time and rapidly respond to issues, maintaining high application reliability and user satisfaction is something that we can get out of these wonderful tools. Integration with Azure Monitor and Application Insights is seamless. And by using Azure DevOps Repo for a Multi-service application, the team can efficiently manage their resources, adjusting as per the project requirements and avoiding unnecessary expenditure on unused services, cost savings and optimize resource utilization, ensuring that the team only pays for what they need. And Azure DevOps repos as part of the Azure DevOps suite offers a comprehensive and integrated set of tools designed to enhance collaboration, automate workflows, ensure high quality outputs and align software development processes with business goals. It's seamless integration with other Azure services and third party tools make it a versatile and uh, scalable choice for teams of all sizes and types well thank you for watching and you guys have a wonderful day i hope it was helpful